Hi everybody, it's Dave. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've had a video up. Um, I appreciate all the thoughts and prayers we've had for many of you uh, in reference to my mother-in-law having her hip injury. Uh, we're working through that and that's kind of kept us away from videos for a while. But we had taken uh, my mother-in-law out to Brownwood tonight and on our way back we ran across a golf cart fire. Thought we'd uh, give you a little information, just a reminder, make sure you have golf cart insurance. Um, hopefully these individuals here did. I do know the individual, there was no one in the cart. Uh, everybody is safe. Um, I don't know the status. I don't know how it started. I don't have any of those details. But, um, you know, I wanted to let you see that golf carts do burn. Um, it's not a common problem, but uh, you should always have insurance, not just for accidents, but for things like this. Many of the golf cars here in the villages, you know, it'll cost you fifteen or twenty thousand um, dollars. They're they're pretty uh, fancy vehicles, so uh, you you want to protect that investment. Um, again, I don't know exactly what happened on this one. We were on our way back from Brownwood, and we actually passed by this, and it was a, a fairly you know new looking golf cart, um, and that. It had a little bit of fire dripping from underneath at the time, probably from the engine compartment. Um, I don't know, um, you know, it, if it was, you know, electrical or what the problem was. Um, but my thought at the time, I kept going. There were several people there. Uh, the individual was out of the way. I'll, I'll point out right here. See how that flame just went up? That's where the gas tank has uh, just um, failed. The gas tank is in that engine compartment. Um Cars don't typically explode and flip in the air like on television. Uh, that's sort of what happens. You'll get those big flares. Um, in a few minutes, one of the tires will uh, pop also. And uh, it'll just be a little bit of a, a puff out in the uh, lower right corner where that, that tire pops. Um, but as I was saying, when, when uh, we went by it, my thought, I didn't have anything to put it out. Uh, nobody had anything at the moment. Um, I had a cooler on the back of the cart that just stays mounted there, and I was planning on going to one of the ponds. So I'd gone over to a pond getting ready to get water, and I came around this section here in the part of Richmond that's under construction. There you just saw that tire pop. Um, so the goal was to get a little bit of water and head back over there. Uh, but by the time I got to this point, um, the fire had, uh, had grown pretty quickly to the point that it wasn't going to be safe to do anything at that point. Uh, so I stayed out of the way. Everybody else looks like they were out of the way. And, uh, of course, we were waiting for the fire department. Um, fire department will show up in this video. I'll leave it all the way to the end when they put the fire out. You'll see there's not going to be much left of this cart. It's already pretty well burnt. Um, keep in mind these carts are mostly plastic, you know, wire or metal frame um, with you know, the, the shell is plastic, the roof is plastic, the windows are plastic, uh, tires are rubber, you know, the, the floorboards are, are plastic. Um, so everything on here is pretty much flammable and uh, it, it'll get consumed. Um, so obviously at this point there was nothing to save on this cart. So everybody was out of the way just waiting for the fire department to come. Um, you'll see a few carts that, uh, Ended up going around in the grass uh, to, to get around it. Let's see if I don't know if it's going to show here. Yeah, there's one fellow going around. A few people did that. Uh, this was on the cart path between Brownwood and the Water Lily Bridge. So we're kind of right beside um, or between the two entrances to the new village of Richmond that's under construction on the golf cart path of Megasin Road. Um, I suspect tomorrow there'll be a pretty good scorch mark. Uh, right there. Um, it's kind of a helpless feeling, you know, not to be able to do a whole lot. Uh, I have come from a fire background, and like I feel like I should be doing something, but there really wasn't anything to save there, and there wasn't anything safely to do at this point, other than sit back and wait for the fire department to get there with the right equipment. Um, and there you see some flashing lights. I think this is battalion chief coming up first, and then right behind it is a, I guess it's a quick response vehicle that they have. Um, at first, I didn't realize it actually carries water. So you'll see in a little bit, uh, for you fire guys out there, I was waiting, thinking there we needed to have an engine get here first. But it uh, looks like there's a, a booster pump, booster reel set up on this vehicle here, which is uh, 
I don't know whether they call it a first response vehicle. I'll call it a first response vehicle. Um, guys will get up and properly suit up and put on air packs. Uh, firefighters usually will use air packs on vehicle fires. Treat this just like a vehicle fire. Um, that smoke right there has some pretty toxic stuff in it. You don't want to be breathing. So um, they're going to put on those air packs uh, as they get close to it. Um, again, they're going to do it safely. No need to do anything super rushed. Running is not going to do anything but get yourself hurt. And there's nothing left to save of this cart. So um, they're getting themselves properly positioned. And we'll have, uh, I believe there's an engine that will be coming around the corner here in just a moment. Uh, here comes, that's an engine coming. Or it might have been one of their trucks. So there's a truck and there'll be an engine coming also. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and use the, the booster line off of the first response vehicle to go ahead and put this fire out. Now, there were some storms in the area. I'm not sure where these vehicles came from, if it was from the closest station or... Um, took a few minutes. Um, nothing unusual. I mean, nothing uh, un extremely long. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if they've been kind of busy at night. They may have been coming from other scenes um, getting here. And they pretty much got that fire under control. Uh, another engine, I believe, arrives. Um, they have cut their lights out. I think these guys have called and let them know that it's under control. And the next engine basically will be uh, passing by. They won't, they won't stop. They're going to clear them for service in case there's another incident somewhere. Good work from our uh, village's public safety department. We appreciate all they do. And I'm showing you here, these are some of, that's what the cart looked like prior to the fire. Again, it's almost all plastic. And you can see there's not much left but metal framing. It's burnt the tires off, burnt all the plastic, just left the frame. You don't see any of the roofing. Roofing material is also a plastic. Um, the side curtains are plastic. The seats are a, a vinyl type material. Um, so everything there is flammable. And of course you have the gas tank, about five gallons of gas. Um, when it's full, five gallons of gas in the tank that is in that engine compartment, which is under the passenger seat. I'm assuming that's a gas uh, cart. Um, pretty sure it was from the way it flared uh, a few minutes into the fire where the, I think the gas tank uh, failed and the gas dumped into the flames there. Well, that's about all. Um, we will be back with videos in the future. I'm still working, um, you know, full time. We've got uh, my mother-in-law, and I'll give you the quick story. I'll give you a longer story on a future video, but she is home with us. Um, you know, we've still got a lot of struggles to, to uh, in her recovery, but she's doing well. We figured out some uh, things so that we can manage to help her with some of her activities of daily living. Um, and we have managed to find a way to get her into a golf cart. And I'll show you on a future video if uh, you have someone that is in a wheelchair that needs to ride in a golf cart. I'll show you how to do that on a future video. But until next time, I hope you will join us again when we explore the villages. See you next time.